Just picked up seven liters of raw milk from the farm. Yeah, it's beautiful country out here. Ain't it, wife? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yo, what's up, everyone? So I want to show you guys just how I make the fermented, fermented yogurt. In the last video, I talked about some of the benefits. I think I'm going to be talking about it a little bit more as time goes on. Uh, so here is what we get the milk from. It is uh, like a five liter container. On the left, this is more milk. It hasn't quite fermented. It'll probably turn into yogurt by tomorrow, I imagine. You can see it's starting to uh, ferment and coagulate a little bit. Uh, but all we do is let it sit in these containers and we take the lid and just keep it on like that to where it gets to breathe a little bit. But here is actual yogurt. As you can see, it's got the texture of yogurt. And all this is is fermented milk. And so once it's fully fermented like this, I'll probably uh, drain it off a little bit and then stick it in the fridge. And then it'll stay like this. If we let it sit out like it is now, it'll start breaking down into a liquid, which is also pretty tasty. It pretty much tastes like kefir, uh, but uh, we want to keep it in this yogurt form. So like I said, we'll drain off some of like this, this liquidy stuff and then store it in the fridge. And it is as simple as that. The very, very high and beneficial bacteria like uh, lactobacilli. And it is very, very good for uh, repopulating the gut with healthy flora. Uh, for those of you that are only on a carnivorous diet because you cannot digest anything else, uh, you know, getting on an elimination protocol of, uh, of meat for a period of time and then beginning to reintroduce highly uh, enzymatic and uh, foods full of beneficial bacteria is going to be a great way to uh, get your gut in a, pos in, in a place where it can begin digesting other foods again, such as starches like potatoes. So I'll talk a little bit more of that in a different video. Just wanna show you guys this really quick. So with fermenting the raw milk, uh, once it turns into yogurt, it's very potent. Uh, like I said, it's full of full of probiotics, and the and it's also very acid. It's around three pH, so this can cause a reaction if somebody has some sort of fungal bacterial imbalance in their gut. This can be experienced as nausea, gas, bloating, uh, diarrhea is a very common one. Uh, there's a there's a book called the the Milk Diet Remedy. Um, it talks about this a little bit, although he's his fresh milk, uh, the, the fermented milk products are much more powerful. Um, and so I just want to give you guys the heads up when you start, start very slowly, start with maybe a tablespoon at a time and you might feel some like, uh, some like bubbling and some like, hear some like gurgling in your stomach. And so start slow, maybe do like, you know, a tablespoon three times, you know, once in the morning tablespoon in the afternoon, tablespoon in the evening, and just slowly increase it over time. You know, eliminate those high fiber, highly irritating foods that are high in anti-nutrients. And, you know, stay on the foods that are very nourishing, high in fat soluble vitamins, um, you know, such as like the organ meats, the meats, um, animal fats, the, the fermented yogurt, and uh, you'll be on your way. So another important piece to making the fermented raw milk yogurt is that if you're getting your raw milk from a source that flash freezes it or flash cools it, what they do is they take it out, you know, they, they milk the cow and then they put the milk directly on ice and that temperature comes down extremely fast and it will actually kill some of the bacteria. And so uh, when you go to ferment it, it might not actually ferment because it might not have the appropriate bacteria in it. So when you get the milk, try to get it as fresh as possible. Like try to get it to where they don't even refrigerate it. If it's just refrigerated afterwards for say two or three days, it'll be okay um, because the bacteria will bounce back. But if it's dropped to a temperature too low too quickly, it won't. So if you go to ferment it and it just doesn't ferment, if it just turns a weird sour, 
um, like soury smell and taste in it and it's different from let's say like a more of like a kefir then it's probably because the temperature was too low for too long so keep that in mind you know wherever you source your milk from ask them you know how they process it and so you'll uh, you'll know what you're working with so the faster the milk ferments and turns to yogurt the uh, the higher amount of enzymes and bacteria will be in it uh, the more nutrient dense it will be uh, depending on how it's processed like I said you know if they put it on ice for a long period of time it may not work very well it may not turn into a yogurt it may just sour if it's just not you know constantly kept in the fridge but if it's fresh and they're pasture raised on grass and you know fed a very good source of nutrition then it should be a very uh, nutrient dense milk and it should ferment very quickly and it should turn to a very thick yogurt all right guys thank you